Hello, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's 100% Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And we're at the marina, um, about to start our next Cortez mission. So, alright, Treacherous Swine. Um, okay, so this is basically an assassination mission. So, alright, there's Cortez, and uh, there's that guy in the sailor suit. Um, uh, he had a really question Cortez's, uh, been the loose tongue of a man. Cortez's kind of entourage, that he's just got this, like, one woman, and then this guy <laughs> in short shorts, and a sailor suit. Um, okay, Tommy brings up an interesting point here, that Cortez is having us kill a guy that has nothing to do with our money, and like, you know, we're not just some guys, you know, oh, Mr. Angry Shorts is bringing us a chainsaw. Anyway, um, alright, so, uh, yeah, so they, for this mission, they want us to, uh, kill a guy with a chainsaw, and, uh, we're not gonna be using that, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be killing anybody with a chainsaw today, um, you can, this mission, um, is, mm, is, is pretty easy to do with the, the way that the game wants you to do it, like, you can, you can, kill this guy with a chainsaw if you want. Um, it's probably one of the few times in the game that you're actually going to... Well, there, there'll be rampages. There are chainsaw rampages, I think. Um, it would make sense that there kind of has to be. Um, anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so we're just going to equip a weapon because there's no reason... They don't force you to do it with the chainsaw. Um, they actually just... We're just going to head north here and just north of the Malibu Club is going to be this guy's penthouse. We're going to try to run into as few trees as possible. Um, anyway, so we're going to, yeah, so we just go north uh, of the Malibu Club to this guy's penthouse. And we're going to chase him out in the street and gun him down. Because that's what he's got coming. They want you to chase him out in the street and chop him up. But, you know, again, it just, it just seems unnecessary. It's far, jeez. Oh, anyway, um, <laughs> my driving is subpar at best. Anyway, so we'll get up here and, uh, like I said, we'll, we'll chop the guy up. No, we're going to shoot him. We're not going to chop anybody up. Alright, so this is his penthouse, and up we go. That guy actually kind of looks like Diaz, doesn't he? I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running he's got a blade? He doesn't have a blade. I, I don't know if I you know, refer to... Anyway, so get the chainsaw off. Um, you can just use the Uzi here. So. Alright, and okay. So this is gonna give us a... Oh, it's gonna spit us out on the street. So yeah, we get this cutscene. Spits us out on the street. This guy regrets that he wasted his looks. And uh, we're supposed to chase him and kill him with a chainsaw. Like I said, he runs real slow. It's pretty easy to do, but just shoot him. Um, oh, okay, we don't lose our wanted level here. The good thing about this game is that actually, um, after the completion of every mission, you, you lose your wanted level. Um, you don't in this one because they want to introduce you to the pain spray. Because we're still doing missions that introduce us to new stuff. Uh, and actually, in when I practiced this mission, I hit two want I hit two police bribes, and it ended the mission right there. You don't have to go to the pain spray. But anyway, so you pull in the pain spray, and they'll sp they'll pay they'll spray for free apparently. I guess that's in case you don't have any money. Um, and that should end our mission, I would I would think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out what to do next. So, uh, I'm probably cutting out any travel time. Uh, I don't really know what my next best move is going to be. Alright. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Um, welcome back. Uh, this is... Although... For you, that's most probably just a cutscene or a, a cut. Uh, so we're doing the next Cortez mission, uh, the mall shootout, and this one. Well, here we go. Here's our cutscene. Um, there's Tommy, Mr. Angry Shorts, and uh, Cortez is lounging around, not helping us find what we uh, we're looking for, and apparently eating a rhino. Uh, no, no. Um, Tommy, that's you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the gross. stench of corruption. A pompous breeze? I don't think that's a. I don't think pompous breeze is a compliment. All right. So any anyway. Closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, right, Tommy. There you go. This yeah. isn't getting us any closer to your money. Oh. I will continue with my yeah, actually, meantime, if 
if Cortez wasn't such a jerk, this could be the shortest video game ever. He could just tell us who took our money and we could kill that guy and then earn $30,000 and pay back the Mafia. I could probably do that in three videos. Alright, so anyway, so you gotta go get merchandise for Cortez and, uh... Anyway, you gotta go to the mall, um, and there's gonna be a guy there, and, uh, we have to pick up Diaz's merchant, Diaz, we're Cortez, anyway, uh, all these Ezes, um, right, so, we're just gonna go to the mall, and, uh, it'll lead us from there, it's pretty basic stuff, uh, try not to smash up your Porsche too bad, uh, although it doesn't really matter, cause we're not leaving in this vehicle anyway, oh my god! Uh, Alright, so uh, after our Porsche explodes, they're called Comets. Um, they're actually one of my favorite cars in the game because they're they're super fast, really small. They're good for the races, but anyway. So yeah, so here's our guy, and you can tell he's French because he says Z instead of the. Um, so yeah. So the French guy goes to give us the chips, and these other guys who say Z and Zat uh, shoot at us, and our guy runs away faster than anybody could ever possibly run, and we gotta chase him. So we run out here, and there'll be bikes. He'll leave on a motorcycle, and there'll be a motorcycle for us, and then we just gotta chase him down and shoot him dead. Which he really doesn't have coming. I mean, he was trying to cooperate, and uh, we were stupid enough to lead the French government to him, apparently. So, yeah, so we got to shoot him and hit him. That's important. Uh, and eventually, you know, he'll he'll die, hopefully, or he'll get away. Oh, no. Okay. And then once he's dead, you grab the chips, and the mission's not over because we have to take him back to Cortez, so we still got our wanted level. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to get rid of that. Um, so, to the paint and spray, I guess. Oh, oh, whoa! Hey, this this is actually pretty impressive driving for me. Alright. Um, yeah! <laughs> okay, uh, we'll just, you know, let's just grab this. Alright. Um, so anyway, so now we just gotta, um, get back to Cortez, and, and a one-star wanted level isn't gonna be a big problem for us. Um, that actually, I don't think... I don't think a one star wanted level spawns any cops. I think it's at two that cops cop car starts spawning and trying to head on collision, yeah. So one star wanted level, I think they'll just arrest you if you happen to be near them. I'm not sure, to tell you the honest truth. Um all I know is a one star wanted level isn't something you even have to worry about. See ours went away. So yeah, we'll just take the chips back and then we've been playing for a while, so we'll probably probably end this there. So, so yeah, so this should uh this should open up I think this opens up Guardian Angels for us, which will be fun. That's really where the kind of the plot line really branches out. It's kind of the end of the introductory introductory mission, so <clears throat> Whoa, I can't believe I stayed on the bike there. Uh and Guardian Guardian Angels is gonna be really fun because uh we're gonna fail it on purpose, which um is not something you'll see me do every day. So here we are, back at uh back at Cortez's place and we walk in and our mission's passed um, all right so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time take care <laughs>